Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to these, those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. Nope, just kidding. This is Pro Wrestling Logic. We discuss pro wrestling of all points in, of all points in between. There's Fuji out with the new top hat. He's out with Don Morocco. They talk about the various um, times that Morocco, and this is the... Uh, 1986 February 7th edition of TNT uh, Morocco in there with Fuji Fuji and Morocco highlighted in a squash match uh, Fuji talks about Morocco not being taken as seriously as he would like in the interviews also presenting uh, Don Morocco's greatest hits kind of tossing him to the tossing the uh, adversary to the outside and a very basic uh, you know bit of deal and then we see Fuji with the body slam on the arena floor. Uh, Morocco is highlighted. Of course, Morocco multi-times uh, inter intercontinental champion at this point. Morocco by 86, though, has begun to slow down. Uh, hard shots by the enhancement talent. He hits a drop kick and tag off to the other enhancement talent who comes in. And Fuji gets a couple of uh, martial arts shots and chops to the throat as well as the Midsection, Fuji does not seem to have any real care for his opponent, and Fuji will take uh, cheap shots, low blows, and all of that. Highlights of the Hawaiian living of Don Morocco. Morocco seems to be completely in control and uh, wearing a good business suit. Basically says he can go back to Hawaii anytime he wants, doesn't really need to be here, and also is uh, very committed to the idea that uh, Don Morocco is uh, ready to be at a... Um, you know, hefty, healthy place of getting things together. Then we go back to Fuji General and the other skits that we've seen over the years, uh, Fuji Vice, Fuji General, and all the points in between. Uh, obviously, that was uh, the previous year. Morocco believes he's going to Hollywood, believes he deserves to go to Hollywood, and uh, obviously that doesn't come together for him in real life or in the skits. So it's interesting to see just kind of the, the, the layout there. Um, then we kind of see uh, the uh, next segment with uh, Dan Spivey making his way out. Dan Spivey, of course, the uh, replacement for um, Barry Windham in the U.S. Express. Spivey talks about being a football player. Spivey talks about uh, having a really good... Uh, uh, foray into the WWF also highlights from the match with him an enhancement talent who I believe is uh, uh, pretty well dominated uh, but uh, Lombardi or no uh, Ron Shaw out of the way and uh, you know I mean uh, hip tosses Spivey drops the elbow Spivey almost looks like a modified Hulk Hogan big uh, back body drop along the way there and Spivey uh, does take a bit more uh, offensive pounding than one would think he would, being a guy who is in the um, position of coming into the promotion in a good way. Uh, Spivey does hit a bear hug and a couple of elbow drops along the way. The leg drop kind of like Hulk Hogan and gets the victory there. Uh, doing the leg drop, probably not the best of ideas with Hogan. He finally wins the match with the Bulldog. Then we see a, uh, do I guess what is labeled here as a dog fight. Uh, the Junkyard Dog returns. Uh, Lou Albano also here kind of plugging the uh, multiple dystrophy deal and the soon-to-be tag team champions, tag team champions at the... WrestleMania um, uh, 2 with the Dream Team versus the uh, Wonder That Is, uh, the um, uh, Bulldogs versus Dream Team, Moondog Spot comes after Dynamite Kid, nails him with a hard clothesline among other things, tag off to Davy Boy Smith, the Bulldogs do eventually get the victory here using the diving headbutt along uh, various snap suplexes. The British Bulldog is probably uh, the first major, um, you know, heavy team that probably converted people to be fans in a while in the WWF. 
there was a time where, you know, tag teams have kind of slowed down a little bit. Barry O and uh, Moondog try to double team their opponent cross body by one of the Bulldogs, and he gets a near fall. Bulldogs are seen as major deals. And again, um, you know, uh, Lou Albano promises to make them tag team champions. Also, we see the uh, the actual tag team champions, the dream team, that Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine make their way out. Uh, Valentine says that he is not worried, along with Johnny V, Valentine says that he is not worried in the least about the Bulldogs. Uh, basically said they have no competition in the area, the Bulldogs are a joke, and that uh, ultimately they think they're in control of the tag team title as long as they want to be. Uh, that obviously doesn't end up being true as the Bulldogs do win the championships in the uh, in the WrestleMania 2 foray. Then we go to a highlight squash match of the tag team champions, the Dream Team, Valentine and Beefcake. Uh, Beefcake actually wearing a bow tie still by this point in his, uh, I guess you'd say, illustrious career. Anyway, um... And uh, this is actually not a squash match, but the uh, match with the Bulldogs, um, which is a non-title affair. Uh, the Dream Team is uh, not uh, favored by the fans. Actually, a very good match worth going out of your way to see. I'd, I'd forgotten that it was this particular week. Um, and, uh, you know, Bulldogs uh, go at it with Valentine. Valentine gets shoulder blocked to the outside of the ring and Valentine and uh, Beefcake trying to get his partner back in. Uh, back and forth, actually, just amazing crispness to things. Uh, Valentine and Beefcake obviously try to slow things down. Beefcake, when he's in there, gets arm wrung and his arm worked over a good bit here. Um, you know, obviously, things are not going the way that uh, everybody intends there. And uh, Valentine gets a cutoff shot, a couple of uh, low blows and uh, shots from the midsection. Goes for the figure four. Bulldogs, however, do not uh, agree to surrendering in any at any level there. And uh, ultimately a uh, fireman's carry. And the leap off uh, with uh, Valentine. Leap off diving headbutt by the Dynamite Kid. Dynamite Kid comes in, gets the one, two, three in the non-title match. But again, uh, Beefcake and Valentine. And Johnny Valiant, their manager, very clear to let the fans remember that this is, in fact, a non-title affair and that they really don't care one way or the other about uh, non-title affairs, as it were. In any event, um, we then begin to kind of get things going in a uh, positive directive. And uh, Vince McMahon closes things off, really believing that the Bulldogs are going to be your next tag team champions, which they end up being. And we will close on that particular note. We'll be back with more right after this.